This lesson is on inserting things. Um, first, symbols. Been around forever as far as uh, part of Word. So you go to insert and symbol. And th there are some default symbols here that they provide you. Uh, some of the more popular ones, you've got the Euro, uh, copyright or registered trademark. And um, this is just trademark, regular trademark. Apparently these are popular um, in the business world. So they wanted you to know, know about those. And I think they wanted me to talk about the shortcuts for those. Not that I expect you to remember them. However, here we go. Um, if you go um, Alt C or no, we're going to go bracket C bracket. All right. And then you automatically get the copyright. If you want the Euro, it's bracket E bracket. You get the Euro. If you want registered trademark, it's bracket R bracket. I don't know if you need to remember this for the test, but that's why I'm going over it. I'm assuming maybe it'll be in there. So bracket TM bracket is trademark. However, uh, hopefully the test will be intelligently written and they'll give you the option of just going to insert symbol and finding those from here. Uh, other symbols to choose from. Now, the list is, is ridiculously long and large. There are several different types of symbols to choose from. I mean, you can spend days in here just looking through all the symbols that are available. Wingdings for years have been some of the most popular. You've got the Wingdings, you've got Wingdings 2, you've got uh, Webdings, uh, which are also quite popular. They're, they're not pictures, they're letters. They, they act like letters. So when you insert them in a document, they act exactly like a letter would, right? Of course, they're just more complex than a letter. So you would find the symbol that you think you would want and you'd put it in there. So in this document, I'm just going to go to Wingdings and pick something real simple. Um, so you've got stars, um, which have been around for a long time. You've got different stars to choose from. So let's say insert, right? Now, you're not going to see it in the background, but it's, it's back there, right? So there's a star that's been inserted into this document and it's right here, all right? Uh, because all of this was italicized, it came in italicized, which I didn't want. I'm just going to move it up here, which is where I want it. And once it's in, like I said, it's like text, right? So you can, you can go back here and you can say, I don't want it italicized. Uh, I don't want it bold, and then, but I want it to be bigger, right? So you can make it as big as you want. And then I want it to be red, let's say, all right? And if you wanted more of those, you simply copy. And then I'm going to use Control-V to paste. And for some reason, oh, I got, I copied the enter as well. I didn't want that. I just wanted the symbol. So I'm going to go copy and then I'm just going to go paste until it spreads across my document. All right. I didn't want the last one. So that's good. I got my show hide on. I always have my show hide on so I know what's going on. Right. But if you want to see how pretty that would look, you would just come here and you've got your stars. All right. All right. I know it doesn't look great, but I just wanted to show you how you insert symbols and how you can format symbols. Simple, easy, been around for a long time. The next thing that you can insert is something called an autocorrect. Now, as you make mistakes in, in, in Word, it'll sometimes correct you. So I'm gonna go to the end of my document. I'm gonna go Control N, right? And I, lowercase i, when I hit space, it automatically corrects it. That's part of the autocorrect list. I'm gonna show you where that list is. Okay, so that list is, you go, you go to File, and you go to options and it's in proofing right here and it's right here your list of autocorrect options this is why things change into different things when you type them uh remember the first four that i mentioned they're right at the very top of the list apparently they're very popular so if you type whatever's on the left you will get whatever's on the right so that's where your happy face and smiley face and sad faces come in right so if you type those characters hit space uh they will automatically pop in the list is quite long but you need to understand that it's not infinite. So there are certain mistakes that you will make and they will not be corrected automatically, whereas some um, you'll make and they will be corrected automatically. So the mystery has been solved. Now you know why some get corrected and some don't. It's because it's on this list. Here's the good news. You can add things to this list. Now, I'm ashamed to say it, but it's true. After four years, of studying business in university, I still struggle with the word business. I want it, I just assume it's gonna be like building, right? So it'll be spent like this, but of course we know 
it is spelt buzziness. So rather than have to correct that every time I make a mistake, I'm going to have it so that this is added. So when I make that mistake, when I type it this way, it'll automatically be corrected that way. All right. Uh, other great news. If you work, I work for the District School Board of Niagara. So that is way too long. So I just put DS. BN. Actually, I'm going to go just DS. Don't put a real word here. Okay. Don't put at because that's a real word. Every time you type at, it'll be replaced with something. So be careful of that. So I'm going to replace DS with capital letters, no doubt, um, where they need to be. District School Board of Niagara. I'm going to add that and then close and then OK. So now I work for DS space. Here we go. Uh, where I teach and it got corrected automatically. Hope you saw that. Probably should have zoomed in first. All right, so that's your autocorrect. Neat, awesome, um, add to it if you want to. It, it'll stay on your computer. I've been teaching that one for years, love it.